Hey there everyone, Daish here from LearnCodeOnline.in. Amazing resource, have you checked it out yet? If not, no problem, let's just go ahead and get started with our JavaScript. So what is the plan of action for this particular application? The plan is really simple, I want to just go up here. I first and foremost want to select the input, this add to do, this remove to do, and this whole list item as well. So this is the first plan and the second plan is I want to take down this remove to do and the plan is really simple as soon as I click on remove done to do it should be deleting all the items which are marked as checked there and uh, that's pretty much it and we will be exploring some of the new concept using the while loop and basically and interestingly we will be learning how we can have loop inside a loop so let's just get going it's pretty simple no big deal there now first and foremost is I want to grab uh, this item which says ID is 10 so it would be better if I just use get element by ID I can always use the click uh, like on click method here and can write a function attached to it that is also completely fine and I don't see like really a big difference in doing any ways of these things so let's just call this as var and this is gonna be uh, add to do and there will be two button add button and remove button in fact i would like to call this as add button it would make much more sense to have this and then i can simply say document dot get element by id and use the add here okay now i have selected this once it is being selected i want to attach an event listener to this uh, this add button so what i can do is i can simply call this something like that add button dot add event listener and this is going to listen for an event which is click not listen like waiting for it kind of a thing you got it and we will be writing a simple function that says add item i haven't created that function yet uh, in order to avoid the problems i'm going to create it right now somewhere in the bottom here it's really simple to create a function we just simply say function if i can write it properly and uh, this function name is add item pair of parentheses there we go and we're going to have a simple console.log saying add button clicked so that we can just check it out. Okay, that's our job one. It is being done. The second part is to have remove button and we're going to call this as remove button. And there we go. Same process, exactly same. You can pause the video and do it before me as well if you would like. Okay, so I hope everybody paused the video there. And document.getElementById and what did I call it? I have absolutely no idea. Remove. There we go. Remove. There we go. Once it is being done, I would like to add remove button dot uh, add event listener. Same. It's going to listen for an event which says click. And it's going to look for... Now here we can use a callback function. So far we have been using a callback function. But if I'll be using a callback function here, it will be really, really lengthy. So we can do the same thing here as well. So we're going to call this function as remove item following the same process, remove item, there we go. And we can just have a kind of a similar function, we can copy and paste that. And we can call this something like this, remove item, remove item. And we're going to say uh, delete button clicked. So there we go, saved it. And it's always a good idea to first and foremost check the things so that we don't make a mistake later on and add button clicked remove button clicked okay so everything is binded correctly almost so these are the two things that we have we are going to put them a little bit bottom and at the top i would also like to select a couple of things probably like not much but just one or two things so first and foremost i would like to select uh, my all the unordered lists so i'm going to call this as var i'm using unordered list so i'll call them ul call them whatever you like and I'm going to say document dot get element by ID and I think I call them as list I am not still sure yes I call them list there we go okay so now everything is being targeted and is being used now first and foremost we can just go back at the bottom and can take down this remove item now in order to take down this remove item uh, I would like to declare a variable that I'll be using. So now inside this unordered list, I do have a list item. Now I will be using that, but I just want to be declared as a global so that it can be accessed by anybody like uh, probably add item or remove item. 
Now it depends later on that if it is being used by only one piece of the code, we can just change it and move it here. But later on, uh, so we're gonna remove this remove item. So how we're gonna process into that? Now it's really simple. First and foremost, I want to use this li, which I declared above, it has absolutely nothing. Now this ul has a property that names as children, okay? Not the child element, come on. Children, there we go. And the big question is, what is inside this children? So why to worry about that when we can just print that out? So as soon as I'll be saving that and I'll be clicking on this remove item button, we should be getting things in our console. So let's just open up our console. Did I close that accidentally? console and remove to do. So it gives me a collection of four elements. Of course, all of them are array and we have this li.mycheck. So we are getting one, zero, one, two, three, four. And the zero one is here, the first one is here. Now notice uh, that inside this first one, uh, inside this children, we do have a property. Uh, I This is the property I'm looking for, which is the children. Inside the li, there is also for the children. And then we have a property uh, that says, if I can find that, the value, not here. Okay, there we go. Notice it says uh, checked in here. So we can somehow use that uh, to, for our advantage. It's really hard to find things in here in this smaller space. So let me just show you rather that how we are gonna be nailing it down. So once we are aware that it is being done, what I can do is I can loop through this list element because right now there is no such thing which can find out how many elements are gonna come up. So we're gonna be using a for loop for that. So index zero is totally fine. And we are gonna go for this uh, index is less than li dot length. Index plus plus is good. And we are gonna be printing out uh, from this li element is gonna be li index. And I just want to print out this first of all so that I can see what is inside this element. So I can simply log this and I can say uh, element. Now let's just see what is there inside this element. So save that, go back here. Did I again close it? Where is my memory? So there we go, have a remove to do. Now notice this time I'm able to go through with all of this. Now the confusion or the problem thing is now our loop is actually fetching all these elements, but we need another loop because we need to go through with these four things. Either I just manually go through them or use an, another loop inside my for loop which can go through inside each of these allies and can check whether uh, the ID, uh, not the ID basically, they do have other elements just like we have. They, we just saw that it has another property which says children and check a property there if it is checked or not, okay? So I need another loop, that's the main idea here, that our first loop is just going through each element, but I need another loop inside here. So instead of just going through like that, I can just remove this line and I can create another loop. And can anybody guess what is that loop we are gonna be using? Yes, we just learned that in the previous video. And that is our simply while loop. So what is the condition that while loop we are gonna be fetching up? now? There are two conditions basically. The first one is uh, when I do have this li at index, okay, whatever the index we are going through, zero, one, two, three, four, it should have a children at, and at the very first of that children, there is a property known as checked. You can check that again by uh, clicking a console log on this li. So this is the checked I'm looking up for, okay? Uh, will it do my job? Uh, yes, almost, almost. So first and foremost, what we'll be doing in here, uh, on this UL, what I really want to do is, I just want to remove this entire unordered list in here. Okay, so not the entire unordered list, but rather inside this unordered list, the list element, okay? I hope I didn't make a mistake there. So in my unordered list, I want to remove a child, remove child, and what is that child? That child, is the li element of that particular index. I hope, actually I cannot make it much simpler because I literally told you exact line by line. But there is one more mistake in here, a little bit, not much. Uh, let's just save that and see. Now, technically speaking, when I just click on this remove to do, uh, it should be clearing up all the things. So when I hit remove, notice it just does all of that. But there is a cannot read property children of undefined remove item. Let me just check if we have done anything mistake like that. 
and I think uh, probably like that. But the problem that I was talking about is uh, we need to actually check for the index itself as well. And there is one just kind of a small stuff. Uh, I found it out way back when I was working on this kind of same project. Uh, let me just save that, reload that, and there we go. Now, when I was figuring out for the property of this children, actually a couple of things came up and uh, one of the guys suggested me on the Stack Overflow that, hey, you are checking up all the things, but you are not checking up for one more condition, which is uh, if it is the same element. So what I need to do is I need to check out li at index. Uh, I want to check for present index, not for all the index here. Okay, so this is the mistake I was making. And yes, just like you, I also looked up on the Stack Overflow and somebody suggested me that I was missing this part. So this is moreover, I wanted to share my experience. Now the whole, uh, only probably for some of you, it, it might be making sense. Now what it is saying that it should be onto the present index as well as inside that index, then we want to check onto that, okay? So I think it makes sense to most of you. And I can clean that up and I can hit remove to do and uh, there we go, it has removed, no problem at all. The reason it was doing all this thing because we were not checking that if we are onto for present index or not. We were just checking it is on checked or not. So we have to check both of them. A great advice given to me by somebody, I am absolutely terribly sorry who gave me that advice on Stack Overflow, I forgot about that. It was like two or three years ago, but anyways. Okay, so this is what we have done, accomplished. Uh, first remove item, we can hit the reload and can see that whenever you check mark anything, that gets removed and that's it. Okay, so here's a quick assignment for all of you. Now we want to create a simple, uh, just create add one more button here which says remove everything and it should be able to remove all the list item inside this unordered list. And I think that is actually pretty easy. We don't need to go into one more level of the loop because we don't want to check anything like checked. We just want to remove them. So it should be pretty easy assignment for you. In the next video, we're gonna take down this item as well, which is add item, which can be a little bit tricky. So we will be moving on to the next video and let's catch up there.